You know, when I first started my channel, Atticus a Death Metaler, um, I wanted to mainly focus um, my videos on metal-related type news. But since the fact that I've gained a wider audience over other stuff that I've been talking about, I think it's really good that I have a bunch of followers that from, you know, different backgrounds, different, you know, likes and interests. I find it really cool that I can interact with all these people and I really find it awesome. But as usual, time to time, I'm going with uh, news about the metal community. So I found this one topic and I thought it was really interesting because it involves the legendary Swedish death metal band Necrophobic. Now, the frontman Tobias Sidgard, Sidgard, whatever you want to call his last name, is in jail for domestic abuse of his wife and children. Now I know I made that video on Varg, and I know I've gotten a lot of, I, I, I can, as you probably know, I got a lot of hater comments and a bunch of dislikes. I really do not care. It doesn't really affect me whatsoever. If you want to watch it, go, go right ahead, but this is going to be on Tobias Sidgard on this issue, and before I get into this topic, domestic abuse, mainly in, in modern day society, we as, we in, a, we in Western civilization want to believe that domestic abuse only happens to women and children. But no, that's not the true factor. It happens to everyone. Men abuse women. Women abuse children. Men abuse children. And even though this sounds funny, but I don't think it's funny for me personally, but women have been known to abuse men. Not in the physical way, though a majority of women have been known to physically abuse their boyfriends or husbands, but from what I've from what I've talked about, most women manipulate and um, spiritually and emotionally abuse their partner. They mostly do that instead of just physically abusing them. So I'm getting a little bit carried away, so I'm going to read you this um, article. So, um, Tobias Sidgard to be at the next necrophobic show as a frontman is currently in a Swedish prison for 18 months in allegations of domestic abuse of his wife and children. And be, and just to warn you guys, this, what, this is really gross. So this is from Metal Ejection. So I'll leave the description below and I'm going to read it to you right now. In Swedish court documents, the police reports obtained by Metal Insider, Sidgard's wife Linda was interviewed by police describing incidents in which she was beaten by him multiple times and forced into oral sex with him. He also was charged with abuse for beating his daughters Tindra and Nova with a homemade bullwhip. These are other allegations against Sidgard in the court documents. Tindra claimed that when she was younger, her father would lock her and her mother in their room during the day while he slept. Metal Insider reports that Tobias' defense was he was on amphetamines when hitting his children and that striking him with a bull striking them with a bullwhip was him kidding around. Um, excuse me, but when you beat your wife and force her into oral sex and beating your kids with a bullwhip and locking them is that is that really just for fun well i don't think it's fun at all without their consent i'm pretty sure that your two daughters wouldn't even consent over beating you them with a whip no especially no that that is not cool of course there are some women that I know who consent to the old BDSM type life. Of course, I'm in it too. You know, I get a little bit and I get a little bit dark here and then. Spank him and talk about spanking them in the ass. Total domination, which 
is alright because they consented to the idea of talking about it. But when, but when it doesn't involve consent and you're abusing your wife and you're abusing your kids, that's wrong. That is clearly wrong. I don't care if you're in a death metal band. You, this is not tolerated because you're also making us metalheads look bad thinking oh we're a bunch of satanic worshipers who drank goat's blood and we beat our wives and rape them that's what people of the mainstream media think of us still no we're better than that most metalheads are really cool and intelligent people including me you, you look at me with an exhumed shirt and of course the back of my shirt says gore fucking metal i can't show that to you because I'm, I don't know, I'm pretty fucking lazy to do that, but, um, aside from all that, we're actually nice and intelligent people. Sure, of course, there's metal elitists that go around saying, oh, you listen to this, well, that, you, that fucking sucks. I don't tolerate metal elitism as well. We have to realize, when this stuff really goes around in our community, in the metalhead community, we do not tolerate it whatsoever. So, Tobias, I've lost all my respect for you. Um, you signed a social contract to a woman that you were supposed to love, and you have two children that you were supposed to take care of, but instead, you, with the total opposite, beat your wife and beat your kids and abuse them. That I do not tolerate whatsoever. So you deserve to be locked up. You deserve the, the least amount of respect that I can offer. So that's it. In the meantime, as of course, I'm Atticus the Death Meddler. Like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'll leave you the link of the article in the description below. It also contains a picture of Linda with a really bruised up eye, which is completely fucking disgusting. And of course, have a wonderful day.